Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. So today we're going through using AI to review contracts or using free software, which is provided by Robin AI. And so essentially what um, the AI will do is that through editing, i.e. through accepting or rejecting suggestions, through uploading templates, um, through some of the review that other lawyers in your firm do, the AI will learn your style, your standards, and essentially how you guys will review uh, documents in your firm. So essentially the AI will learn um, how you like to draft things. And so when I say review, um, what I mean by that is you get instant suggestions on changing wording on your clauses so that you write with greater clarity. Um, you can identify loopholes in your contracts and they'll give you tips on writing uh, airtight clauses. You'll get suggestions on clauses you may have left out. Um, which may be pretty standard in those types of contracts, especially if you're inexperienced and uh, you need help with drafting contacts and contracts. And I mean, we all need uh, suggestions, no matter how long you've been reviewing contracts. And um, so you also get suggestions um, that apply to specific provinces or states so that you're in compliance with whatever requirements are pretty standard for whatever area you're drafting for. No one wants to draft invalid contracts. And uh, you'll get explanation explanations on clauses if you um if you ask the AI for assistance, it can explain um some some clauses. And then once you've drafted a clause you really like, you can save it to your playbook. And once it's saved to your playbook, you can uh, reuse um that clause. You can also reuse uh, clauses that are saved by uh, people in your law firm, which is also really cool because then when you're drafting, you're just copying and pasting clauses you like. And then you'll also get suggestions on things you may have left out. So uh, let's get into this demo and um, I'll take you around the software. And remember, this is all uh, free. The only thing you'll pay for, I think, is just the playbook, but everything else is free, of which you'll be fine without the playbook anyways, because if you have the templates that you like, you can always access those clauses. You can do a search, a query search on those um, contracts, and then you'll have... Um, access to those clauses anyways. So you select when you want to review a new contract. In fact, let's not create a new contract. Let's just uh, review an existing uh, contract. So let's go to review. And so here's uh, essentially um, the, 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 I don't know what you call it, the dashboard. So this is the dashboard and review. It looks like the same thing uh, with drafting as we've seen. And so these can be templates. You can upload your own contract, any contracts you any contract you like, the AI will work on that. Or you can use um, the documents you've just drafted um, under this section here. Once you've drafted a document and you want to review it, uh, you could also do that. So uh, let's look at something. Let's see. Let's look at a supplier's agreement. Here we go. Um, huh. here we go. Uh, you can now adjust the size of the playbook by clicking and dragging. Okay, that's interesting. Um, right. So this is the first suggestion. So this is where you'll get all your suggestions from. And as you can see, it will identify the section you um you you can edit. So what you can do is uh once you click on it, it will automatically um make changes. So similar to what Grammarly does, um you essentially can just click and then it will automatically make the edit. But different to Grammarly is that uh, you'll get a comment. So AI will generate a comment and it'll explain to you that this clause should not be included in this contract. So you can also do the reverse. So instead of just suggesting uh, suggesting clauses you've missed, it can also uh, suggest clauses that uh, aren't needed in the type of contract you've just drafted. So um, it's telling you automatic renewals aren't really necessary in this type of contract. And what you can do um, is you can label uh, your clauses and then you can uh, move different clauses uh, around if you want. You can save this clause to a library. Then this is the same. This is uh, the suggestion. Yeah. So if you click on that, it should automatically um, cancel things out. And what's really cool is you can see the history here. So when people are making changes, uh, you can go back to an older version and you can see all changes made in real time. And then you can access the clean version, which is basically um, what your contract would look like without all this mess right here, which I think is really cool. So go down to indemnity section and then uh, you'll get a suggestion again. And you can always read this section, what 
uh, suggestion that they're giving you and then the commentary. I don't want to bore you with the stuff. Uh, clause text matches the playbook. It'll also, it'll also give you uh, thumbs up when you're doing really good. Um, it'll also give you uh, help on definitions, how to change uh, certain definitions, which I think is really important, especially if you want to write uh, with greater clarity. And uh, jurisdiction, this is the part where I was uh, talking about um, writing contracts that apply to certain states, provinces, and uh, certain jurisdictions. And then you can launch Copilot, which is really, really cool. This is where you'll ask all your questions, similar to Chat GPT. You can ask questions regarding not just what's written in this contract or the suggestions. You can ask uh, pretty much anything on um, on reviewing this contract here and everything that applies to it. And then once you've finished, uh, like I said, you can go to the clean version here and see what it looks like without all these um, different, uh, you know, cross words crossed out and red markings and things like that and then you can download uh the document or you can send it out for signature there's uh that's th that's another option a great feature they have is you can send it out for signature or you can send it out for further review um i hope that helps guys and remember this is all um free this is a great tool um i really think you should uh, give it a shot thanks guys